make an uh, pica. the green around it I crushed all of the dark blue into this little crevice here and then pulled the green tight and then just wrap it around till you're finished these strips are regular I guess 11 inches long stays over it. Um, but I would put like a couple more rows of turquoise so I can make more curls. And then all I do is I stick a pokey tool in here and just go like that and stretch it out a little bit because they're just a little too curly. But like I said, I added a few layers on these and then I even added I made S's and glue them in and do like even if you just take this and glue this in here and then curl that up I think I'll do that I glued it, but and for some reason when the camera goes on you stop thinking properly. <laughs> Different curlies, feathers, need some big ones. Little different colors. I thought it would be nice with it having a lot of different colors, turquoise and greens and purples. All different kinds of shapes, some things I filled in. And now we're going to go about putting this together. Pretty much have the layout down. Now I want to do this. Just have to attach it. good for a start. I've already drawn in the peacock face and body. Background, I just ripped up some sheets of um, printed paper 
and then just, you know, patch quilted them together. I put a piece of netting over it. the very first thing I paper quilled. Teardrop shapes, which are going to be the other feathers. These are real, real easy to make. When you squeeze it, it's not glued, but we'll pretend it is. Um, you can push that down there and then pinch this and it makes it a teardrop shape like that. Or you know, you can do it the other way. You could put this, that in the center and then pinch it that way. Make a, I don't know, they say diamond shape. Yeah, it looks like an eyeball. So they're really. <laughs> So as you can see, I finished doing the body, and then I just kept going and going. I did the face, I did a little green around the eyes, and then I just took my glue gun and made like caps over the eyes to make them shiny. Little twirls on top of the head, and now I got to get rid of all the uh, the hot glue guns, the strings. Just darker up at the top. I have metallic deco art dazzling metallic paint and turquoise. Okay, so I'm back. I pretty much finished and I'm just playing around with what I'm going to put in the sky. I don't know. I thought I'd do like colors of the wind type swirls. Then I think I'm going to call this piece done. Of course, knowing myself, I'll look it over and find a ton of things that I I would do differently and try and change. But you know, sometimes you gotta stop being so self critical. You might look at it and think, oh, this looks terrible. 
then somebody else looks at it and you're like, oh, that's beautiful. I do that with my daughter a lot. I'll look at something she's made and I'm like, oh my God, that's so beautiful. And she's like, oh no, I hate it. I have to redo it. And I'm like, what? No, don't touch it. It's beautiful the way it is. But like I said, it's that critical self-judgment. I think it's not in just art. People are very self-critical about themselves anyway. Every aspect of life. Gotta learn to judge less. Less, less judgment is the best. Okay. Here we go. Alrighty. It's like the sunset colors, you know, up in the sky. I put some yellow, orange, purples, a little red. I don't know. Doesn't have to make sense, it's odd. <laughs> okay. So I think that should be good. And I hope you saw all that. Let's see. What can you see? Yes. All right. So that's it. That's the finished piece. I've got a ton of stuff on my desk now. And I'll take some pictures at the end. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed that. It wasn't very informative, but I had half of it done when I started making the video, so it's kind of hard to show you how I did all this. Except that for these pieces, I just kept adding, after I made the eye, I put a piece around it like, like, like say this was the eye, I put a piece around it like that and pinched it glued over here and let these curl and then I put another piece on that and pinched it so that it ended up making long stems. So that's what made these long stems for the feathers. There's really only three stems. And then the others are just eyes and curly cues stuck in between. Just crystal clear craft smart glitter paint. It's like um sort of like stickles. Except that stickles is so expensive and this costed me like, I don't know, a dollar. So I just use a little bit of that. Actually, maybe I'll just do a little bit of that right now. Get a brush. What I do is I just take the top off and use it right out of the cover. You just touch and dab just a little bit because you don't really need a lot. It's just for when the light hits it, it glitters here and there, but it's not fully covered. 